Hey everyone, it's Amy, and today I'll be showing you how to do these glass snowflake nails. And so I'm going to show you the process of how I sculpt out a fresh nail, because I know some of you were asking. So I'll show you here on my thumb. So I already have it prepped and ready to go. But I'm going to start off with the Young Nails Protein Bond. I do two coats of this on the area of my natural nail. And then I do use my Young Nails Form. And so this is kind of showing you how I put on the form. And then I'm going to go in starting with my Young Nails Build Gel. It's a builder consistency, so it's a little bit thicker. And I'm going to use this to extend out the nail on the edge. And once I've flash cured the extended out edge, I go in with my base gel and I put a thin layer of this on my natural nail. And once that is fully cured, I go ahead and I take off the form. And so it is kind of thin and fragile here, so you do have to be careful. If I take off the form, I cleanse off the sticky layer, and then I go ahead and I shape and file the edge of how I want the nail to look. After I'm done shaping the nail, I cleanse off the nail again, and then I go back in with my build gel and we're going to build up the nail. So I put a slick layer down, and then I get a larger bead and I kind of build up the nail. Once the nail is fully cured, I go ahead and take off the tacky layer. Then I go in using my e-file and I take down most of the bulk. And then I go in with my hand file and kind of do more precision filing. And then I finish off with my buffer to smooth everything out. And so that is how I sculpt out my nails, and I did the same on all 10 of my fingers. I wanted to use a glass effect, so I started with a fresh new set. And to start off the design, we'll be using Light Elegance's Ice Cream You Scream. It's a super pretty iridescent multicolor glitter, but it kind of has more of that blue tint to it. And so I'm going to put a coat of this on all of my nails.
before I cure that, I'm going to go in with this glitter from Glitter Heaven Australia called Pure. It's again more of like an iridescent snowy glitter, but has some tiny little teal glitters in it as well. And so I just take a scoop on my brush and I kind of plop it on the cuticle area and it kind of feathers it down a little bit, but I do not cover the full nail with this glitter. I've applied pure to all of my nails I take this glitter called Avalon dots and I'm only going to be taking the teal dots out of this so I kind of use my dotting tool with some gel on it to pick out the teal dots and I go ahead and place some of the teal dots again on the area closest to my cuticle Now that all the glitter is applied, I do a full cure in the lamp, and then I go in with my Young Nails Flex Gel. It is a thinner viscosity, but I do a thin layer on top of all of the glitters to encapsulate it. And I do kind of do another finish file after I apply the flex gel on all of my nails just to make sure that the shaping is still good and it's not too thick.
And so here's what my nails are looking like. It looks super cool just like this and it's kind of matte because there is no top coat on and I just cleansed off the dust. But I'm going to go in and add some snowflake stamping. I'll be using my clear jelly stamping plate in Diamonds and Ice. And I will be using my White Sally Hansen as stamping polish. And I just go in and I pick just random different sizes of snowflakes and I apply them again closer to the cuticle area because we did want this to be kind of glass towards the end. And so this is how my nails are looking once all the snowflakes are placed down. We're going to go ahead and top coat. I'll be using my Young Nails Stain Resistant Top Coat today. Super thick and glossy and of course stain resistant. And so here is how my glass snowflake nails came out. They are so sparkly. I hope I can get some good footage in here of how sparkly they are. They're so pretty. I love like just the little accents of teal without it being a full teal nail. It's mostly just iridescent and white glitter, which is so pretty. So these are gonna be my New Year's nails. That's why they are matching and they are super sparkly and wintry and so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to be the last video of the year. I hope you guys had a happy 2019 and everyone have a happy and safe New Year's. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next year. Bye!